Hello, my friends. Welcome to another session of Yoga in 10. My name is Eliza and I will be guiding you through this practice today. So today I have a sleep sequence for you. Um, the idea is that you get yourself into your PJs, get yourself comfy for bed, ready for bed, make sure that you've done everything that you need to do before you get into bed and do the sequence. We'll end laying down on, well, for me on the mat, for you in your bed. Um, and the idea is that the sequence allows you to gently drift off into sleep. So there will be no coming out at the end of the sequence. Um, I suggest that you switch off autoplay um, and this way you won't be disturbed by the next video that plays directly after this one. I also suggest if you're able to set it up that you combine this with Nidra meditation for sleep um, so that maybe it sets up that you play that video straight after this one and that will help you to drift off even deeper into sleep. So get yourself into your PJs, jump into bed and we can get started. You're going to use some of your bed pillows, just your standard rectangular bed pillows as your props today. So just have those handy. Get into bed and just start today in a seated position. And just take a moment here to kind of close your eyes, settle into your space. Nothing for you to do at this point. Possibly just kind of taking an inventory of your day. And choosing to kind of empty that from your mind, knowing that you don't need any of the stuff that's running around in your head at the moment before you fall asleep. Do your best to become the witness to these thoughts. And notice your breath. Notice the quality of the breath. Don't worry too much if you're slouching in your bed. Just do your best to be comfortable. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale everything out by mouth. Maybe sigh it out. <sighs> Resume your natural breath in and out through the nose. Feel free to keep the eyes closed or perhaps blink your eyes open. Place your right hand to the outside of your right leg. Reach your left arm up. Inhale. And as you exhale, take a gentle side bend by bending the right elbow. So no need to push yourself, force yourself into the pose. Maybe peel the chest open and up towards the ceiling. Look down, bring the left hand down, walk the hands over to center. Walk the hands towards yourself, come back up to sit. Left hand to the outside of the left leg, reach your right arm up and take a side bend, bend the left elbow this time. Peel your chest open and up towards the ceiling. And maybe on your exhale, you can bend your left elbow a little bit deeper. Look down. Bring the right hand down, walk the hands back to center and back towards yourself, come back to sit. Bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly pose. So don't worry too much about how deep you are in the pose. I recommend maybe push your heels further away from your seat. Grab both your pillows, fold them in half so that you create a little base for your head to rest on. Tuck your chin towards your chest, roll your spine forward and allow your head to rest on your pillows. Maybe bring the arms to the inside of the legs, find a bit of a release in between the shoulder blades. And do your best to allow your head to be as heavy as possible. And perhaps visualize your shoulder blades gently shifting away from each other. If you suffer with any upper back pain or discomfort, this is a great pose. You may find that 
there's quite a bit of tension in that space at this time. If you are finding there's tension in the upper back, simply keep your awareness on that space and breathe deeply into that space. So kind of like using your breath to soften the muscles, soften the connective tissue. Notice if you're clenching in your jaw and if you are, soften the jaw. Allow the tongue to fall away from the palate. Notice if you are holding any tension in your hips. Do your best to allow your sit bones to be as heavy as possible. Allow your belly to hang low. And take a moment here to surrender your body as much as possible. Just let it be as heavy as you can allow it to be. Slowly, slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders and take your time to press yourself back up to sit. Roll the spine up one vertebra at a time. The head comes up last. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. Bring the hands to the outside of the knees. Gently press your knees together and come to lay down on your back. As you come to lay down on your back, feel free to use one of your pillows for support of the head. Allow your legs to be extended, maybe your arms a little bit away from the body for now. And notice the sensation of your body sinking into your bed. You can leave the legs extended or perhaps bring the soles of the feet together for reclined butterfly. If this is uncomfortable for you, you always have the option to extend your legs. Notice if you're crunching in the back of your neck at all. If you are, maybe tuck the chin towards the chest. Find some length in the back of your neck. Check in with the shoulders. If the shoulders feel like they're up in the ears, hug the shoulder blades under the heart space. Place your hands on your lower abdomen. Allow your elbows to rest on your bed. And just notice with your natural breath how the belly rises and falls with no need to control the breath just yet. On your next inhale, breathe deeply into your belly. Feel your belly rise. Exhale, your belly falls. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly falls. Continue this rhythm of breath. Only the belly rises and the belly falls. Maintain your awareness only on your breath.
After your next exhale, release control of your breath. Perhaps release your hands either side of your body, extend your legs. And simply notice. Notice the weight of your bones. The weight of your muscles. Soften your jaw, shoulders, hips, pelvic floor. Soften the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. Allow your entire body to be soft and to surrender. As you close your eyes and drift off to sleep.